Nancy, and I'll be uh, playing Chopin's Attitude on Opus 25, Number 5. Um, so the piece has a nickname called Round Note, um, because um, in the first and the last part, um, each chord contains a dissonate note, which makes it um, sounds very like humorous or um, in music language risonno. Um, and in the middle part of the piece, um, there's um, also uh, like a very beautiful long singing line left hand. Um, so that's why I really like this piece. Um, and um, a side note, I know this piece from an anime called um, Shigatsu wa Kimi no Uso. Um, it's a good anime, I recommend. <laughs> People like classic music to watch. Okay, so I hope you enjoy.
that I composed all by myself.
three. My name is Sergey, and I'll be playing piano today. Uh, I'll be playing two pieces. So the first piece is by uh, Iranian composer uh, Anusha Ravan Rohani. Uh, the name is, I think, Fariad, which means outcry. Um, some story about this piece. Uh, I was basically, like at some point I just realized that uh, I want to try some different music and I realized I don't know uh, any music from the Middle East. So I just went online, searched for a couple of videos and I thought this one sounds pretty cool. So uh, also it's like not too difficult because sometimes when you go on YouTube, you see all these crazy pianists and I'm like, I'm not playing that. So this was like both good sounding and reasonable in terms of difficulty. So I just went ahead and learned it. And the second piece is a Chinese piece called Butterfly Lovers, also known as Liangzhu. Uh, I learned about this piece in 2016 in my beginner Chinese textbook, so I had to look it up and I thought it sounds pretty beautiful. So then I learned it. Like it was also very different for somebody who usually plays classical music, so I feel like it was quite difficult to learn at first. Uh, and then like I thought like it's a cool piece, so like I don't want to forget it. So I was playing it on the piano at university, uh, like pretty much every day for like a year. Uh, and then uh, I never heard anyone else play it. Like usually like I hang out near the piano all day because I like listening to people play piano. And then like one day I heard uh, um, like somebody else play same piece and exactly the same arrangement. So like, of course I had to go and check who that person is and long story short, we are now married. So Aww. I guess that's how I met my wife. So uh, yeah, well, let's hope I get the prize. So.
give some background. So uh, Amy Marcy Cheney Beach uh, lived from 1867 to 1944. Uh, she was an American composer and pianist. Uh, she wanted to be known as a pianist, uh, first and foremost. Um, she was one of the first American composers to succeed uh, without the benefit of European training and one of the most respected and acclaimed uh, American composers of her era. Uh, she was also known for her, her uh, Gaelic symphony, uh, the first symphony composed and published by an American woman. Uh, this piece, uh, Romance, was actually dedicated to Maud Powell, a virtuoso violinist. Uh, who was, she was the first American violinist to achieve international rank. Uh, this piece premiered, well, it was composed in 1893 and of course premiered later that year at the 1893 uh, World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. Uh, I first heard this piece uh, in NPR's uh, From the Top and I was uh, quickly entranced. So I figured, oh, I gotta learn this. Uh, this gave me a great chance to learn chamber music, uh, which is new to me. And I'm thankful for the opportunity to share this with you. Uh, Jason, Ethan? Um, you want to enter? No, I'll keep going. Okay, it's fine. <laughs>
Uh, hi everyone, so uh, today I'll be playing uh, a song from uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time and Darkness, uh, which is yeah, very specific, but um, yeah, I think um, basically Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, like I quit piano mapping during like high school, and I think Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is what brought me back, like that soundtrack. And uh, yeah, it might be a bit cringe, but I don't know, like this is like, so this is the first like serious piece I learned like end to end. So this is like maybe like three or four years ago. So I tried to pick it up for Salon, but we'll see how rusty I am. Yeah? John, and this is the Yellow River Piano Concerto. You can think of it as the piano counterpart to what Sergei played, which was the Butterfly Lover's Violin Concerto. So this started off as a cantata, so it's meant to be sung. There's four movements. I am playing numbers two and three. The second movement is Ode to the Yellow River. The third movement is the Yellow River in Angst, or Anger, however you call it. And I guess in Mandarin, this is Huanghe, and Cantonese is Wong Hong. If that helps, <laughs> for some of you. <laughs>
This piece is called Polka Dots and Moonbeam. Um, if I remember correctly, it's a jazz standard. Uh, it's written maybe 100 years ago, and it has many different uh, editions. So the one we are playing today is by Wes Montgomery. Uh, he's a famous guitarist, and he recorded this piece in the 1960s, and it's pretty famous, hope you'll enjoy. And your names? Oh, my name is Pedro. Um, I'm Chill.
are variations 27 through 30 from Zhevsky's The People United Will Never Be Defeated. Um, if you weren't here when I explained it last time, this is a set of variations written, by, written in the 70s um, on a, th a theme that is a Chilean protest song from Sergio Ortega um, during the Pinochet era. And this piece kind of tells the story of a revolution at various stages and the country going th through various things. And um, I'll let you interpret what these variations are.
Is there anyone else who wants to play? I think, I think we got everybody on the list. Well, thank you so much for coming out, and uh, yeah, we'll meet next month. Uh, we may change the date. I think right now it's like December 8th or something like that. We'll, we'll figure out. Uh, and uh, right now. Uh, thanks so much. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.